This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. You know, I want to talk a little bit about home automation. This is something that, you know, um, uh, people... uh, People's homes are changing pretty dramatically these days. When you do a home inspection, do you, are you seeing a lot more out there? Oh, there's a lot of fun stuff. There's stuff out there I don't even know how to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> no. Um, no. But yeah, it's changing every day, right? Yeah, no, the, the, the point is there's a lot of new things coming out there as far as the way people control and interact with their houses. So so houses are becoming really uh, I- interactive in that sense and yeah. that you can uh, communicate with a lot of different things and do a lot of different things. Up until now, and probably still is, is how to kind of consolidate all these things, how to integrate all these things. So you maybe have one app that controls your lights and another one that controls your garage door. And But how how do you kind of pull all that together? I have four remotes for my TV. (laughs) (laughs) I got a problem. (laughs) But you're right. No, but there are are hardware and software platforms out there for you to do that. And and, and that's what's starting to happen. So there's a couple big companies that we're all familiar with that that, that have kind of core home systems that everything else uh, ties into. And they want you... Well, there's also commercial reasons for wanting to do that too, but yeah, but but getting all your home systems tied together. And so, as you're doing an inspection and you come across these things, do you, do you guys follow up with these things? Are you testing these automated systems for them? Uh, some of them, yes. Uh, a lot of them, no. Okay. Um, a, a lot of these things are kind of like in the realm of security systems, right? Uh, that are either subscription based or operate with some remote application or something somewhere yeah. that's beyond what we would normally test and control. In a lot but, of cases, they may not even convey with the property. That, that's true. And I guess if you're buying a home, like we advise people, you do want to inquire about some of these things. The, the, the cameras, the IP cameras, you know, parts of the security systems, monitoring equipment, all this stuff, you know, what does convey with the home is, is sometimes pretty important. Listen, the other thing I want to talk to you about today was, was air, air conditioning because yeah. we're coming up on deadlines for air conditioners, right? There's we, a deadline well, for we, your air conditioner. We we started talking about this a couple of years ago, <laughs> remember? And we and we held we held 2020 out there yeah, as the coming. as the date and then hello, guess what? We're 2 months away from 2020 right now. Is that hard to believe? Yeah. So R22 is that stuff yeah. that they use and they won't be able to use anymore. Yeah, so there's a lot of conversation about this now and a lot of of, of information out there. Um, some of it uh, some of it directed again towards maybe selling you something that you may or may not need. Right. Uh, so we're, we're we're out there talking to people. So let's about talk this about right the now. specific nature of this. R22 is the is the material they put in the air conditioner to help cool the air. It's it's the freon or right. yeah, and it's the gas. And, and it's the R22 that will no longer be manufactured as of 2020. So that's the drop dead date we've been talking about for the manufacturer. Gotcha. And so let's let's say uh, at what point if I have an air conditioner, say I've been in my home for four or five years now. Um, does my air conditioner likely still uses that material, or, or at what point did they stop manufacturing a, a units using that that material, or is it easy to transition from that material? Well, yes, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah. There's too many variables <laughs> you, you, here. You, you need to find out, possibly. So, <clears throat> okay. so if you have an air conditioning system that's maybe five to ten years old, mm-hmm. there's a couple possibilities. It may be running on the old R22. It may be running on the newer R410. Mm-hmm. It may be running on components that are a combination of each, and that's okay. sort of what you need to find out. So it could out. be any one of the three. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Okay. It could be, and if you have if you have a newer system, let's say five six years old, and you want to walk outside and you want to look at that little nameplate that's on the side of your AC unit out there, and if it says factory charged with R410A, chances are you're, you're probably good. good to go. This has been Las Vegas Real Estate Now. Thanks for listening. And remember to tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. on 101.5 FM, 720 AM, KDWN.